I'm Josh from Vacuums R Us, and uh, I want to talk to you about an opportunity I had this summer. Um, Deconi Corporation, which builds and designs the car vacuum cleaners, uh, gave me the chance to go out and tour their facilities in Missouri, where they both assemble and design their, their vacuum cleaners. I've been in the industry for more than half of my adult life, and something I've always noticed about Rocar products is the, the, the very customer first, user centric nature of their machines. And I've always taken for granted that Rocar vacuums just make sense, right? The feature set has always been very appealing and smart. I always took for granted that this just happened, I guess. It never really you know, occurred to me that there was so much work going on behind the scenes. And it was really cool to meet the entire team that designs these vacuum cleaners and to see the facilities, the equipment, and the design process that's taking place behind the scenes to deliver these products to our stores. There was a couple parts of the tour that really stood out to me. Um, I think the one that really made the biggest impression to me was they have a area of their warehouse where they have literally hundreds upon hundreds of different vacuum cleaners that they keep to test their products against during the development process. So they think they have this crazy idea. They're like, oh, this is gonna be great. And they'll print it out on their 3D printers and they'll design the prototype. And then they take hundreds of other vacuum cleaners from competing, competing brands and their own previous models as well. And they'll test it, not just for performance, but for usability against these machines to see if their design concept actually works in the real world and how it compares to what's already available on the market. And not to completely geek out, but while we were there, they actually had their big, huge 3D printer was actually printing out some like little pieces and parts to some prototype that they're building. We had to sign an NDA. I don't even know what it was that they were building, but it was, it was so cool to see something being built that had never existed before. So I've worked with, um, Ricard has a very unique uh, model, they're, they're tandem air machines, and these are vacuums that use dual motors that both generate airflow and suction at the same time. They're incredibly complex machines, profoundly efficient. Um, arguably, I would argue that they are the most powerful upright vacuum cleaners in the world. And I've worked with these for years. As a technician, I was inside of them, and then as, you know, as a front of house individual, I've, I've sold many, many, many of these machines to people who love them. And I, I honestly, I, I, working inside of these machines and seeing how, how well designed they are, while being very complex, but how well designed they are, it was fascinating to me to be in the rooms with the vacuum nerds, right? I mean, these guys are vacuum nerds who came up with this concept of, hey, we have this type of vacuum and we have that type of vacuum. How do we put that both inside of one machine? Um, and, and getting to be inside the room and seeing all the bits and pieces through, through you know, all over the, the benches. Um, it really, it kind of, for me, it filled out the other side of the story. It, it, it filled in a lot of gaps and explained how it is that we're able to bring these products to our customers' home. So one thing that's set Ricar apart for a, a really long time is their, uh, their concentration on filtration, right? And, and that's something that's often overlooked, right? I, I hear people talk, when they talk about vacuum cleaners, they talk about, oh, suction, suction, suction. And being in the industry, I can tell you, it doesn't matter how much dirt your vacuum picks up if it throws it back in the air, which is a significant problem with a, a lot of other types of vacuum cleaners. And while we were there, we actually got to look over a lot of the filtration material that they're constantly experimenting with. And different concepts on where are we gonna put the filters, how large do the filters need to be, uh, they were looking at, uh, you know, airflow, um, you know, trying to get the highest level of filtration they could while not degrading uh, the airflow and de degrading the performance of the vacuum cleaner at the same time. So, you know, vacuums are us. We've always done, we do a lot of stuff in-house, right? You know, there's just so many things. When you sign on to vacuums are us, you know, you're probably going to, you know, at some point you're going to be helping to mow the lawn outside and you might help to hang a sign. And, and there's a lot of things that we have in house. What I thought was really interesting about Ricar is I've already sensed from the outside um, working with with Ricar that they're very high touch and they're very in touch with every aspect of their business. When they brought us there and we started touring the facility, I saw things I didn't expect. 
they have their own printing press um, that they print out. You know, if, if you've been in vacuum stores, you've seen a lot of the posters showing different products and stuff like that. Ricard makes most of that stuff themselves. Um, a lot of the marketing material that they create, they create in house. They have their own film studio um, that they use to, to, to film a lot of the product demonstrations um, for Ricard products. They also use that film studio to film a lot of the videos and the informational stuff that we as dealers need. So a lot of their service videos um, and when they're releasing new products and showing us as dealers a lot of the new features and innovations around it, they do all that in house. Um, and it was super cool to see why it is that Ricard is so, so in touch with every aspect of their business. It's because every aspect of their business done right there by their own people who share a break room. I really enjoyed my work in home floor care. I enjoy getting good products to people's homes that help them to efficiently keep their homes clean. But I've always felt like I only see part of the picture. And having the opportunity to go out to Ricard's facilities and meet the people who design and build these machines was it was a big eye opener for me. And I, and I feel like I understand such a bigger piece of this business that I've dedicated so much time to and is really oddly impactful to everyday people's lives, right? Um, I'm really, really grateful uh, for that opportunity. And, and I honestly have to say it was, it was the, the most exciting um, 48 hours that I have spent uh, in my entire career in this industry. And I, and I feel, every day I feel more fulfilled now that I see the real human beings, the people that are behind these products that we're bringing to customers' homes. Um, so I don't know if somebody from, you know, Ricard someday sees this video that may have been in the facilities that day that I was able to tour it. I, I wanna say thank you. Um, you your your welcoming your welcoming spirit and your happiness to just show us so much of what's going on there had a real impact on me and it will you know it'll have a ripple effect and it will impact our customers going forward as we're able to